What's going on guys, Steven here, and I'm happy to welcome you to Season 4 EPL Draft Recap video. The EPL is a draft league I started up with friends maybe about a year and a half ago. We're on to Season 4 at this point, and we opt to follow the GBA style of draft. This season they went with a free draft, so we uh, followed suit and did the same. We also opted to have one designated Mon per team to use any Z moves it gets access to. Barring Omni Boost and Evasion Boosting Z moves. We also opted for no Megas, being that not all of them are available in Sun and Moon. Definitely opens up a lot of cool drafting options. Maybe not as much pressure on the Mega as you would normally have felt. Uh, super excited. Can't wait to get into it, so here we go. Without further ado, our first pick in the draft was Revile. Revile is one of my favorite mons ever. It's super fast, it hits super hard. Great stab combo with knockoff and icicle crash, as well as stab priority and ice shard, and solid coverage options in low kick and poison jab. It's not the vers most versatile mod, uh, it doesn't need to be, it does what it does very well. I'm super excited to using it, and I hope it puts a lot of work. Our next pick in the draft was Star. Um, it was definitely an enticing pick, you can wrap it spin. Something I wanted to grab a lot due to Weavile already having a rocks weakness. It's, in my opinion, one of the best rabbit spinners in the format. It can also be run offensively or defensively, and it gets the moves and abilities to back to sets. Um, the defense side have cool options like type and recover, as well as the natural fear ability. And on the offensive side, you can opt for maybe a life orb or an expert belt with analytic ability. It gets Definitely a plethora of offensive moves with Dazzling Theme, Ice Beam, Scald, Flash Cannon, Power Jam, Grass Knot. A ton of things this mod can do. A ton of coverage options. Super excited to use it. Our third pick in the draft was Tornadus Theory. Now, Tornty, I was a little on the fence about. Mostly because its main stab move is Hurricane. And as some of you guys know, that's only 70% accurate. Um, I'm willing to take my chance with it, being that it's super good in almost every aspect of the mod. It has really little weaknesses. The pure flying type isn't ideal, but it's also not a bad type by any means. Um, it gets the great ability in Regenerator. Uh, can um, restore a bit of its health when it switches out. Internal moves being Grass Knot, Sludge Wave, Heat Wave, Super Power... Knock off U turn can be a fast haunter if I ever needed it to. Can run some of the bulkier sets. Super versatile mod, I'm super excited to use it. My next pick in the draft was Dragonite. Um, it was getting to that point in the draft where everybody knows they need a dragon, and for me, some of the more ideal dragons were off the table. I went with Dragonite. Um, not a subpar dragon by any means, I definitely think it's. Very strong priority in E-Speed, and priority is always something that is welcome on any draft league team. It also is a solid setup sweep, and it gets Dragon Ants, as well as the fantastic ability to pull spell, meaning I'm always going to live one hit, even the four times effective ice moves normally won't go color Dragonite. Um, you can also run Choice Plan on it at the Extreme Speed, very powerful set. Um, also, I'm definitely looking to run a special attacking set at least once or twice this season. It should be a lot of fun. Definitely excited to pull that one off. Uh, with the next pick in the draft, uh, I chose Whimsicott. I needed a fairy, and it definitely fit my team, I think, with a lot of speed and the prankster ability coming in. Uh, it's an anti-setup mon with Encore. You can Encore people into um, their own setup moves. Potentially opening the door for a counter setup. You can encore substitutes, leech seeds, screens, stun spores. A super utility based mon. Definitely a little bit lacking in the offensive departments, but that's not the role that I'm going to have it fulfilling most of the time. So it doesn't really matter. Our next pick in the draft was Talonflame. Um, Talonflame was definitely a pick I was a little skeptical about due to the Gale Wings nerf being. Flying moves only have priority when I'm full HP. Uh, definitely might be a lead a lot of the times, but it still has super strong stab priority in uh, 
Flare Blitz and Brave Bird. You can also run some bulkier sets with some Spadef investment, uh, with maybe Taunt, Bulk Up, Will-O-Wisp it gets. It gets a lot of cool options, and again, it's a super fast mod. So even though I only get priority at full health, I'm still going to be outspeeding a lot of things a lot of the time and getting those sits off. Oh, and again, more U-turn priority. We now have that on three mons. With our next pick in the draft, I needed some bulk and I needed a normal type. I went with Snorlax. Um, it's definitely a solid mon. has a huge HP stat as well as solid defense, special defense. The defense is a little lacking, but with significant investment and it only having one weakness in fighting can definitely uh, work well as a defensive mon. It gets a couple of really solid sets being Assault Vest, Choice Bandit, uh, the Curse Rest Set, Rest Sleep Talk, Resto Chesto. It does a lot of stuff well, and I'm super excited to have it on the team. At this point in the draft, my next pick was a little up in the air. I started looking at my first seven mons and realized I had not one hazard. Um, I went with the Ground Poison type Nido Queen. As a hazard setter, it gets rocks and toxic spikes, which is something I'll definitely trying to be taking advantage of. It's also surprisingly bulky with a weakness barrier too, being ice or ground type, the occasional psychic berry. Um, it also hits surprisingly hard with life orb sheer force, and it has crazy good coverage as well. Um, super solid mon. Definitely looking forward to using it. Um, with our next pick, we took Hitmontop. It was a fighting type option when there wasn't. The Intimidate and Technician abilities, I look forward to coming in. Some real clutch situation for me. Um, it's also another Rapid Spinner to take the pressure off of the every week star. And even sometimes if I bring Hitmontop in Starmie, I can run a fully offensive hit on top or fully offensive starmy and have the other bb utility mon for that week and with the next pick i took empoleon um it was a bulkier water alternative to starmy um i know i said starmy can be run defensively but the steel typing is definitely something i had to take into consideration uh it completed my Fairy Dragon Steel Core being Dragonite Whimsicott and Poyon. And it also is very big as a defogger. And completing a third option of hazard removal is, I think, super important in Draft League. It gives me options every week, keeps my opponents guessing, makes them potentially not as willing to set up and hazard stack on me because I have multiple options to get rid of them. It also gets Stealth Rocks in itself to take that burden off of Nino Queen, and can also surprise me with uh, some agility sets. Definitely a cool mod, I'm looking forward to using it. And then, my last pick in the draft was Rhyme. Um, I chose Rhyperior because, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I just wanted to use Rhyperior a ton. I think an electric type would've been maybe a bit ideal for my team. At that point, some decently fast electrics drop, like Raichu, Electabuzz, Electifier. But I went with Fry Period because it's just a super fun mod. Um, it's gone undrafted in all three seasons of my league, and I definitely wanted to uh, showcase it a little bit, have it put in some work. Definitely excited to use it. Pull off some sweeps with uh, Rock Polish, SD. And having super big MCP and the solid rock ability, it's definitely a solid physical tank. It gets decent coverage moves with foot tail, crunch, uh, edge quake coverage is always solid. Um, Mecha Horn, definitely a super solid mod, and I'm super excited to have it. I know I've said that a lot, but I'm just really excited about my team this season. Um, last season, we did have a disappointing end in losing first round in the playoffs after an undefeated regular season. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my draft recap video. I'm super excited to get into the season, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.